the most successful roulette betting system ever created. That's the claim made by the inventor of this intriguing roulette strategy. He's so confident in his roulette system that it would normally cost you $15 to access it by purchasing his book. Fortunately for you, you're subscribed to the Casino Matchmaker channel and I'm going to share this formula with you completely free. The book claims that you can make $1,000 per day simply by implementing this roulette strategy. Now you're probably just as skeptical as I was when I first heard this claim, but I must confess it's an interesting strategy to say the least. In this video, I'm going to summarize how this roulette strategy works, play out some scenarios to show the logic behind it, and of course, I'll also be sharing what you need to consider before using this strategy yourself. Strangely enough, the author of the book conveniently forgets to mention an important factor that I'll be highlighting to help you make an informed decision. I'll start off by saying, in fairness to the author of this book, Mr. Kiefer, this strategy is not as ridiculous as it first looks. At first glance, it looks like one of the dumbest roulette strategies I had ever seen, but after reviewing it, I can see why many players would like it and how they would have made money implementing it on many occasions. But as is the case with all roulette strategies, this is certainly not a guaranteed way to win at the roulette table every single time. It's slightly more complex than other roulette strategies, and so I'll need to run through a couple of scenarios to explain exactly how it works. But stay with me until the end of the video, as I'm sure you'll agree the method used is a very intriguing one. The idea of working together with a friend to bring down the house was a new concept I hadn't seen before, and I'll explain this in more detail later in the video. Let's start off by explaining how this roulette system works. Now the book is 94 pages, but I'll do my best to keep it as concise as possible without leaving out valuable information. I'm not charging $15 for the service, all I ask for in return is a like on the video if you find it interesting. So here's how the Kiefer Roulette system works. It starts off very similar to the Martingale system, but then makes a quick adjustment and then cleverly brings in a teammate to make this roulette betting system like no other. If you're not familiar with the Martingale system, it starts by betting on one of the even chance bets. For example purposes, let's use the colour red and keep the math super easy with our starting bet of just $1. Many of you will be in the comments saying $1 minimum bet tables don't exist, and if you're playing in a live casino you're probably right, but they do exist if you're playing online. If you want to find the best online casinos to play at in your country, then complete the quick 2 minute quiz in the description. Continuing with our strategy, placing a $1 bet on the colour red. If we were to lose, we double our next bet up to $2. If we were to lose this $2 bet, here's where the Kiefer system makes a slight adjustment. We now increase our third bet to just $3, instead of doubling it up to $4 like we would if we were following the Martingale. If we lose again, now we continue in Martingale style, doubling up our bets each time we lose. So following the Kiefer system, the next bet would be 6, 12, 24, 48 and 96. The book actually suggests we continue up to $192, but I'll explain shortly how that's not possible in the majority of cases. Let's quickly compare these bets against the traditional Martingale system and why the adjustment is pretty clever. A traditional Martingale betting system would see these bets go from $4 to 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. So on the Kiefer system, following 8 losses, we would have lost $192. The Martingale system, with the same 8 losses, we would lose $255. Okay, so we save ourselves $63 if we were to hit an 8 number losing streak. That's all well and good, but we're looking for a way to win playing roulette, not just lose less money. As we dive into the Kiefer system, I'll explain how the book suggests we do that. First, let's address the elephant in the room. Surely there's a negative trade-off when comparing it to the Martingale system, otherwise everyone would use it and save themselves $63 every time they hit a losing streak. And there absolutely is. Because the third bet is $3 rather than $4, when we lose three or more in a row, this roulette system 
doesn't allow us to make a profit when a winning number lands, but simply win back our earlier losses and break even. And this is where the key for secret weapon comes in, as you introduce a partner in crime to play the system with you. Now don't worry, when I say partner in crime, you're not going to be breaking any rules, you're just going to be working as a team to attempt to make a profit. Let me show you how this system works using my good friend Stephen Mason as an example. Now I've picked Mason for a reason. Not only is he a cool guy, but he needs all the help he can get when it comes to playing casino games, as he's really not very good at gambling. Even if this roulette strategy turns out to be absolutely tragic, it can't do any harm to his current win rate as he never wins anyway. Here's how me and Mason can work together implementing the Kiefer strategy to start slowly building up our profits at the roulette table. I place my first $1 bet on red and Mason sits on the side patiently without placing a bet. If I win this bet, I collect my winnings and start again, placing another $1 bet on red. If I lose, Following the Kiefer system, I now increase my bet up to $2, and this is where Mason steps up to the mark and starts his betting sequence, placing $1 on black. Now, if you're like me, you're probably looking at this strategy and thinking, what a bunch of clowns. Betting on red and black at the same time is the equivalent of chewing Tide Pods. But stay with me, as it's cleverer than the first impressions suggest. Following this system, there will never be the same amount bet on red or black. And the theory is, whilst one member of the team loses, the other person is cashing in the profit. Let's play out a few scenarios so we can get an idea of how profitable this strategy really is. We'll do a best case scenario, an average but good scenario, and then finally, we'll do the worst case scenario and see what needs to happen for this roulette strategy to fail. The best case scenario would be a situation where red and black numbers alternate consecutively. Let's play out a scenario where the first spin is red, then the second black, third red, fourth black, and this pattern plays out for 10 spins in a row. Here's what it would look like in terms of profit made. When the ball lands on red, I bet and win $1. Then the ball lands on black, so I've lost $1. On the next spin, because I've lost a dollar, I now bet two dollars and my teammate bets one dollar on black. The ball lands on red, I've now won two dollars and Mason has lost one dollar. As a team, we've made a profit of one dollar. Now the next spin, because I won my bet, I go back down to one dollar and Mason increases his bet up to two dollars. This time, I've lost $1 and he's won $2. Again, as a team, we've made $1. In this example, by working as a team, we would have made $8 in 10 spins and would make an extra $1 for every spin that this pattern continued to play out. Now, obviously, that's a theoretical example. I worked as a roulette dealer for years and I can't say I've seen alternating colours 10 times in a row happen very often. Let's make this a bit more realistic and play out a random scenario where there's three black numbers followed by three red numbers followed by three black numbers and then we'll finish on a red number. Can we still make money when we see this type of pattern? Let's have a look. The first black number means that I've lost $1. The next spin, I double my bet to $2 and Mason places his bet of $1 on black. It's a black number again, so I lose $2 and Mason wins $1, meaning as a team this time we lost $1 that spin. After two spins, I'm down $3 and Mason is up $1. Following the Kiefer strategy, as I lost, I don't double my bet, I now go to $3 on red, and because he won the previous spin, Mason continues with just $1 on black. A black number lands, I've lost another $3, but Mason adds $1 to his bankroll. This isn't going very well. I'm down $6 and Mason has only won $2, meaning as a team, we're down $4 in three spins. Now here's the interesting change in events. The fourth spin, according to Kiefer, I double my previous losing bet up to $6 and Mason keeps his $1 bet on black. A red number finally lands and I win 
Mason loses $1, but that's a massive $5 win for the team. That's turned our fortune around, and as a team, we're now $1 in profit after four spins. I'm at break even, and Mason has won a combined $2 before losing $1. Now, it's my turn to stay with my $1 bet on red, and Mason's bet on black is doubled up to $2. A red number lands, we've lost $1 as a team on that round, and we're now at break even after five spins. Break even after five spins. Is this just a huge waste of time? Fortunately, it's not, and I'll carry on with the example to show you exactly why. The sixth bet, I stick with $1 on red, Mason now goes to $3 on black. A red number lands again, meaning combined, this time we lost $2. The seventh spin, $1 bet on red, and now a $6 bet on black. This time, a black number lands, and as a team, we have won $5, turning our $2 loss into a $3 profit. Let's quickly finish the 10 spins and see the final profit before clarifying how this system is able to generate money. Eight spin, it's a $2 bet on red and back to a $1 bet on black. A black number results in a $1 loss. Ninth spin, a $3 bet on red and continuing with a $1 bet on black. Another black number results in a $2 loss this time. Final 10 spin, we've got $6 on red and $1 on black. Now that a red number lands, we've made $5 profit. And that's also a $5 profit using this system over the 10 spins. What this system does is it allows one team member to collect small profits whilst the other player recoups their losses by following the martingale. When a player loses two spins in a row, the rest of the sequence, the best that they can do is make their money back. Well, what about the zero and double zero, some of you will be thinking. First of all, if you're playing at a roulette table with a double zero, you need to leave immediately and find a roulette table with a single zero. You've just cut the house edge in half with that one simple move. Now that's clarified, you are absolutely correct that the green zero can throw a spanner in the works when it comes to this system. It doesn't necessarily completely ruin it, but of course, when the ball lands in the green, neither player collects a profit, and instead, both players lose and are forced to double their bets on the next spin. If there were two zeros in a row, this would create a situation where both players are following the betting sequence only to win back their bets and break even. Obviously, this is an unlikely situation, but not an impossible one. Before we explore the scenario needed for this roulette strategy to fail, we need to go back to the betting sequence to confirm a couple of key points. You'll remember I mentioned the book advises that we bet all the way up to $192. It's highly likely that you're not going to be able to do that. You will be restricted by the table maximum bets. As we're using the example of betting $1 on the outside chances, it's reasonable to assume the maximum bet will be $100. Some casinos, it may even be just $50. Theoretically speaking, if there were no table limits and we had an unlimited bankroll, this strategy would be a guaranteed win, as we would just keep playing the sequence until we won our money back, all whilst our teammate keeps collecting the profits. However, that's not reality, and the truth is, with the casino implementing maximum bets, after eight losing bets in a row, we will reach the table limit and not be able to continue doubling our bets so that we can recoup our losses. I'm sorry to break it to Mr. Kiefer, but this inconvenient fact now makes this roulette strategy a somewhat risky one. If either teammate finds themselves on a run of eight back-to-back -back losses, then the team's bankroll is going to get absolutely obliterated. This strategy might be good to team up with a friend and slowly increase your bankroll, but the claim that you can make $1,000 a day without running into a losing streak of eight numbers like the book suggests sounds highly unlikely. The easiest way to use this system is obviously in a real life casino, but it's not hard for a supervisor to quickly realize what you're doing. They probably won't stop you, but they will think you're a bit strange. If you still wanted to try this strategy, you could try it playing online. If you both use the same live roulette table, if you both sign up to the same casino, you can both claim the casino's welcome bonus and play with the casino's money rather than your own. 
If you're looking for the best online casinos with the best welcome bonuses, then check out the link in the description, complete the quiz and sign up to your match. Share this video with the friend you want to test this unique strategy with, and if you don't fancy this one, why not try this strategy instead?